Hello. Uh, now we want to go for movies, and this is uh, very uh, exciting. So this um, parser gets uh, frames of the movies with screenshot and thumbnails, and uh, gets it in sync uh, with the subtitles of the spoken uh, things. So you get a kind of uh, storyboard of the movie, and you will be able to play the movie from within your book. So we create a book for a movie, and uh, this is working uh, straightforward, but it needs a lot of time. So therefore, again, go to uh, our environment, and here's how to use it. So uh, <coughs> we have to go our library and look our library. I had a folder for uh, movies, and uh, these are already there. So, for example, we want to have a, um, a Brazil, and we need this. Uh, we need a MOV file, so it has to be readable with QuickTime on uh, uh, on in, in Mathematica. So check it whether. Your file it has to be the extension. Definitely has to be the extension MOV. Uh, I suggest to have the same name like like always, like your uh, a dictionary. It is in. It's not important where it is then in your library, but these two are connected. The same name like that needs the subtitle as uh, a subtitle SRT. So check this whether this is working with um, QuickTime and here. We are. So it's okay. Good. We have a proper setup. There is a lot of uh, stuff uh, or tools how to convert it. I take this Wondershare converter. If there is another, if you have a CD, uh, then you can download convert and put it here to uh, MOV in the same source uh, uh, size because you want to work with high quality pictures and we will be able to do that. You can have it from DVDs and so on. But there's a lot of alternative and uh, free ones and so on. So create this and convert whatever you, wherever you get it from, convert it to a QuickTime playable format. Then we need these uh, subtitles. And the subtitles have to be this format. So you see, this is pretty simple. So there's um, a text number 48. It goes from a certain time, and then he says it says this. Then the next, the next time, and it says this. So in principle, it's not a problem if you have an offset or if you have a different frame rates for the subtitles and. Um, and your film, then you can put that in sync, but I try to do it, but it's too much work for now. So uh, try to get the proper subtitle in this first version. It's not too complicated to, to improve that and recon uh, recalibrate these things. So this will be in later versions. There is, for example, with very rare things, we have another format of subtitles. You see, you get, for example, Stalker, and this is now under work. Yeah? So I already converted in an MKV to an MOV, so now this is working. So that's fine. But the subtitles in English are of this format. You see, it's there's a dialogue, then there's a time, and it's of another format. So I need to create a parser for that as well and have to translate it to our SRT. So I need a translation from this format, which happens sometime, to SRT. So this will be done later, so this is at work. So let's go here, Gilliam. Brazil, and if you prepare this now, then we can uh, uh, go here for the data, for the metadata. Uh, Brazil movie, now the film. So we want, always want to have the wiki book.
make it a little bigger. So this is a book, the author, Tim. We use it because uh, if we uh, want to work with it, we need this uh, environment of the, of the movie and we need texts, we need pictures all around it. And therefore a good entry point into the, uh, to getting more information and crawl more of information are these, uh, these websites. So the source, I read it not now. So then I named it like this. Language is uh, English, but this will be done automatically. So we don't need it. This is 85. Um, no Brazil, 85. So, Terry Gillan. And then, simply Brazil. So that's our data set. So now the library. First the library. Um, library, movie, oops, and then Gilliam. So we want to work in... No, we want to work here in movies. So put the data, set it movie selection menu, then we have it, so it comes up if we have a folder and a movie and meta with the same name. Then it comes up with here and is ready to parse. So now we look where it's selected, this is working now. And the only command now is, so this is how to manage your uh, setup and now you simply have to say parse movie book selected that's it this will take uh, an hour but uh, because you want to have we will have hundreds of uh, pictures and it comes like this for example the Blade Runner and uh, this is the Saracen Ford, the Blade Runner, and it comes, look at this. Um, oh. So Blade Runner, so there is, in, in the actual version, there is a page for every thousand frames. So, and uh, you have uh, the scene for the player, so go here. You see with QuickTime installed, it's coming. You can play that. I mean, you're not going. So this is the, the text. So again, we can copy. Um, uh, here. In answer to your query, they're written down for you. Go for here and then say movies and uh, this is Blade Runner and working. So if you go to a scene later yeah, whatever, Late last scene you see everything is there. Take it. I mean, you're not helping. And combine it with your uh, work in this environment. So this is our work working document and uh, or our uh, notebook of the day, and uh, you are connected. So I. 
had multiple of them, for example, a draftman's contract of uh, Greenaway. We have this same setup. And uh, you can read the book. It's nice. You can now this scene if you're interested in. So you get another player. And this is working as no well. No person shall use the main stable yard gates whatsoever. And no person shall use the back door. Or... A, is for A for apricot. So I'm quite happy how this is working. So put it here. If you want this scene, then you have prepared pages. Put it here, then you can jump in. Put that here, for example, to sub sub section, then your link is here. You can take the pictures and copy them. So whatever you like, uh, then you go back to him, look for the actual source, that's it. I think you get the idea and you will find it interesting to work with that, with hundreds of movies. And the interesting thing here is we have a sound. Uh, we have pictures and we have text, so we can connect things. So and we will work with AI on that. So quite interesting if you have hundreds of them and access like this and the integration into your working environment like that. Okay, thanks for watching and see you.